feel pain, cry, but don't lose faith. Remember, you are too important to give up. Tomorrow has been prepared because of you. You are the controller on the control tower for tomorrow. Without you, tomorrow will not be complete. God in his own wisdom created you and gave you the star. Not for Jacob, not for Mariam, not for Esther, but for the world. Tomorrow is waiting for you. Don't be bothered with what the rest are saying. Be concerned with what he is saying. He created you in the perfect image of himself and is preparing you for tomorrow, not for today. Those who are fighting about you and fighting against you do not know anything about tomorrow. How I do it about tomorrow. Don't fight against them. Leave them alone. When tomorrow comes, what a panda bunda, what a answer. Give us food. Give us. Don't allow us to die. But I have a message for you. They will never know the star until the star reveals itself or himself to them. Even now, they don't know you. That is why they talk ill about you. And remember, not that you are useless. They are too small number to shine upon them. Number in dog about nyota yako in our quasa, I was ID. Nyota yusufu, hunga kwa taifa, hai ngai kwa kijiji. Ikinga kwa kijiji, watu wa kijiji wanaopenda Uganda, hawata lala. Ni lazima waseme toa hii nyota bali hapa. Lakini juu ya taifa, the stars shall shine. Umeangaika? Miaka kumina miwiri. Bila? Bila kufanikua kupata uja uzito. Alafu? Nimefanikua maali hapa mwezo wakisa tale kumina moja likuwa suka ya meza abwana. Na leo hii na shukuru mungu nimepata ma twins. Nibawaleta Mbeka tasa miaka mika Miaka kumina miwili Miangaika kwa waganda, kwa mamakunga, kwa masai, kwa spitali Abo ni mini kote mbeka Umeenda hospitalini, umeenda kwa maustadi, umeenda kwa waganga Kote, Kenya na Tanzania kote Kenya na Tanzania kote ni miangaika bila Umeenda na Tanzania? Diyo Nipe kitu Hako na ajani kai niko sa Umeenda mpaka Tanzania? Tanzania, mini mtanzania Umeolewa na mduru mawaku Umeolewa na mduru mawaku Sasa mkatafuta mtoto Umeaka hika bila mafanikio Nimo kujira hapa tale kumina moja mzu wa tisa Nikawa pastasara na umba Mini kwa kule nje na subiri kitamba na maji Nikawa na umu na sikia mumivu Kukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukuk
hivyo nimeuliana na hivyo ndio nilienda na nikabeba ujauzito kama hivyo nimefanya kazi nikivuka kwenda na kurudi natembea sima na matwins mpaka nikajanikaza moja nimeza 1.2 moja 1.4 nikakana sasa kama mjamzita huko jua ni matwins jua nilikuwa naenda tu clinic daktari ananipia hajui pia nimeza miezi saba angalia vile ni wazuri sijui kama sisi tulizaliwa hapa ndugu toa microphone tuone wacho wote sara mmoja anaitwa mali mmoja anaitwa mariam kwa sababu familia yao ni waislamu sana mimi nashukuru imani yangu kwa christian bwana yesu nakushukuru kwa ajili ya amani na maria wewe ni mungu usiye na ubaguzi wa dini unatubariki bora mtu aamini alikuja akaamini Yesu Kristo baada ya kuenda kwa waganga madaktari waombezi mataifa mengine alikuja mara moja kwa meza ya Bwana deliverance akabarikiwa nimebeba wajukuu wangu wawili wajukuu wangu mbarikiwe katika utoto ujana uzeni nyota zenu zingai kimataifa mfanyike nyota nzuri hakuna uchawi wala urogi dhidi yenu anaye waroga atakufa kwenye kitendo chake cha urogi nyinyi mtaishi na kutokea kwenu hakuna tena matatizo ya tumbo wala magonjwa aina hiyo tena i bless you in jesus name amen she stayed for 12 years without getting children she went to witches and doctors and both in kenya and tanzania but was not successful but when she came here for the service faith can move mountains but is a risk nataka tusikize leo imani ni kukutana na kile Mungu amesema alafu kazi yako ya ziada inayopaswa kufuatia ni kutafakari kuhusu hii imani mpaka pale ule mwangaza uupate elewa kwamba kuingia kwa neno la Mungu katika moyo wa mwanadamu kuna peana mwangaza na kuelewa please understand this skiza na uyatilie manani haya maneno Ahadi zote za Mungu bila kuacha hata moja zina masharti. Wacha nirudie ili muelewe. Ahadi zote and I mean zote za Mungu bila kuacha hata moja zina masharti. Na hata ile nafuu zaidi tumewahi pokea kama waumini ambayo ni wokovu. Hata hiyo pia haifanyiki moja kwa moja. Nawaambia ukweli kuna watu wanaenda jehanamu kila siku licha ya ukweli kwamba dhabiu ya badala ndio ukweli na kwa sababu bado kuna masharti kwamba kama utaamini na moyo wako na ukiri kwa kinywa chako kwamba Mungu anaweza basi hiyo imani inakuwa ni yako kwa sababu sheria inasema alimradi umekiri na moyo wako wote. Kwa hivyo waweza sikiza maneno matamu ya Mungu anayenena kupitia mtumishi wake Pastor Ezekiel na bado uende jeana. Sasa elewa hata ile cheapest thing kama vile kukiri tu Mungu bado yahitaji wewe binafsi ufanye vile. Waona masharti. Unapotenda kwa maneno Haimaanishi unayo imani ama neema ila tu unashiriki okay kuna kushiriki itajika ili kufanya ile neno la Mungu litimie katika maisha yako nashangaa sana vile watu wengi sana uendelea kukunja mikono yao na kusarenda kabisa eti kwa sababu hawaamini kwamba maneno ya Mungu yanaweza kutimia katika maisha yao na basi ndo manake wale ambao wanaojua imani ndo hawa hapa wanapewa vipacha baada ya 14 years weka hapo usiwe na imani anza kumtoa makosa pastor Ezekiel usitulie upate ile star don't do that but i'm telling you wale ambao wanajua dhamana ya baraka ni nini ndio hawa mimi hata na ninge yani hata ninge kwa Mungu huyu huyu dada yani hata ninge mpata triplets ama hata wanane 14 years mchezo stress zote can you imagine wewe kaa tu pale ukijitazama tu ukizeeka eh? yeti neno la Mungu halifanyi kazi katika maisha yako neno la Mungu linafanya kwa wale wanaolifanyia kazi 
Kwa hivyo wapaswa ulishirikishe katika maisha yako. And it's so interesting that Mungu hachagui yule atakaye bariki. Ah ah ah. Uwe wa dini gani alimradi umeamini kwamba Mungu anaweza na umekiri na moyo wako wote just wait. For instance, unaishi maisha ya kushindwa, kuanguka na kuchoka, eh? Alafu unaenda kwa Mungu na maombi na unaanza kuona ahadi za Mungu zinazokuonyesha kwamba uko na hatima kubwa sana kwa Mungu. Sasa elewa, kutafuta haitoshi. Wapaswa pia utafakari upon it the end of your meditation is knowing where responsibilities zako zitatokea so kama haujafahamu pale majukumu yako yatakujia sasa elewa kwamba kutafakari kwako hakujaisha kujua Mungu amesema nini ni jambo la kwanza kuelekea katika kutafakari kwako na sehemu kubwa sana ni majukumu yako pale yako vipi ili uweze kufanya unabii huu utoke. So just believe in God, eh? By taking action, umeenda new life. Pastor amekuwekelea mikono, umeombewa. Amini kama huyo dada, eh? Kupata hao watoto kunaonesha kwamba aliamini maombi ya pasta, masharti, okay? So wenye mko kinyume na mafundisho haya, jamani, bado neema ya Mungu ya waita na kwa sababu ya kiburi na majivuno muendelea kusema mtakuja sawa mm-hmm. so keep on saying that you are coming eh? na hamji na wengi wao ni wa Kristo mwatazama kwa mbali na kusonya mkirusha mikono huku na huku hafi moyo bado you aita hachoki na sisi and you can imagine si mzaha manake baraka zake ambazo zinapaswa kukuangukia wewe ni zako na kwa kuwa unasema utakuja na huji mtu kutoka nowhere kama huyo dada <laughs> hey, this is so interesting anavutiwa na kuamua kwenda yeye manake yeye yuajua dhamana ya imani ni nini anachukua hatua ya kuchukua ulichokuwa waiti wa wewe sharti ya Mungu umeiona pale so kwa hivyo yule alipiga hatua mbele ndiye aliamini na si yule aliyesema atakuja na hakuja kwa mfano hapa mi najua kuna watu wengi sana mnaambiwa na Mungu Mungu anawaongelesha tu anawaambia uponyaji utaupata ukiekelewa tu mikono na pasta hmm? kazi utaipata ukiombewa tu na mchungaji ukiamini ingia gari nenda eh? Siaga barabara hadi mavweni. Najua wengi mwaniona nasema tu ujinga, eh? lakini ni ukweli. So it is in that point ya kwenda. Pale umeamua sasa wacha niende. Alimradi tu umepiga ile hatua. Ndipo hapo sasa Mungu atakuja sasa naye kupiga hatua yake ya kudhihirisha nguvu zake, okay? Mimi naamini kwamba kila dhihirisho ya imani ufurahisha mwishoni matokeo. Lakini mchakato ni hatari sana. Hiyo masharti ni hatari sana. Wacha nikwambie na uandike imani ni ku risk. Wale hufanyia kazi imani wanajua the real spelling of faith. Ka pasta huyo. Kat naye chini akueleze the real meaning of faith. Atakueleza na bumps zile zote na mariski yale yote yeye amerukaruka ndio afike pale. I'm telling you having faith it's a risk like this is a muslim lady sawa ame risk nini ame risk dini yake aje apate watoto so faith is a risk you can imagine wale wa kwao wale dini ya kwao wale ambao hawaamini yani kwamba ukristo pia ni njia ya Mungu unaweza imagine watamchukua vipi eh category akienda nyumbani so ali risk me i'm so proud of this lady ali risk dini yake akakuja kwa kristo akakuwa na imani akajua mungu ni yule 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 tunabudu kule ndio huyo huyo na bas kaboom akapoa watoto wawili je wewe jiulize are you ready to risk and have faith in god sina mengi kweli ya kuonana na tafadhali Feva moja naomba usisahau ku subscribe, ku like na ku comment pale chini ndio tuweze kuasiliana. Kwa sababu injili lazima isonge mbele. Mama radi hapa.